Hello everyone. In this part, we're going to continue building our PCB for the GPS speedometer. We'll start by inspecting the traces to make sure we don't have bridges in between the traces. If you spot any, just use a blade to grind the copper until they are separated. Then we will use acetone to remove the green film from both sides of our PCB to expose the copper. Now we'll use a scoring pad to scratch the PCB to prepare it for the solder mask application. Then we'll clean it well with rubbing alcohol it is very important to remove all the contamination from the PCB at this point now we will prepare the printed solder mask template we will stick three layers together as we did before in previous steps I will use this type of UV curable solder mask for this project using a pin to push solder mask out of its container. It is very frustrating to put the right amount on the PCB so I like to put more than I need and sometimes it is still not enough. Now place a transparent paper on top of the solder mask. Then place a second flat glass on top of it and start pressing gently, aiming to cover your PCB with solder mask as evenly as possible. Now tape the printed solder mask on one glass and the PCB on the other glass to have more control when aligning, the, aligning them together. Then take as much time as needed during the alignment process. Once you have them perfectly aligned, hold your UV light above the PCB for about 2 minutes. Now slowly and gently remove the transparent paper from your PCB. Now remove the uncured UV mask with tissue and alcohol if needed. Some areas are more stubborn than others. In that case, a brush could, could help to remove the remaining unwanted UV mask. For cutting the PCB, I will use a mini table saw and it is very important to wear a face mask to protect yourself against the PCB dust. If you don't have a similar machine, it is okay to use a hacksaw. Now the PCB is ready for the drilling part. And for that I will use a mini drill and uh, starting with 1.0 millimeter drill bit. Place the PCB underneath the drill and lower the drill to reduce the traveling distance and that will improve the accuracy of your work by making it easier to align the drill bit more accurately above the holes locations. Now change the drill bit to 0.6 millimeter and uh, continue drilling the other holes. I will provide an image that shows the drilling information in the description. Now we will connect the top and bottom layers using small wires. This method is practical and easy to do. Just extract the individual wires out and use one by inserting it through one hole. I will be using resin cord 6040 as a soldering wire. 
apply solder paste and then solder it as you would any component then flip the PCB and cut the extra unwanted wire then solder the other side repeat the same steps with all the other connections for thinning the other pads we will apply solder paste everywhere and then keep applying solder where necessary for the mounting holes I will use a 2.87 mm bolt and a 3.17 drill bit I will use an edge to prepare the location for drilling it helps in preventing the drill bit from slipping while drilling. We're almost there. It is good to inspect your PCB for bridges at this point. And if you spot any, soldering wick is the right tool for the job. Repeat the same steps for the bottom layer of the PCB. And finally, clean the PCB thoroughly from the soldering paste with rubbing alcohol. Now the PCB is finally ready for the next part. I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. And see you in the next part.